Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about episode 10 of The Walking Dead, and I found this episode quite interesting. Um, and I'll get to the most interesting part in a bit, or what I found was the most interesting part, but I want to start from like beginning to end. So my first thoughts of it was this was an awesome episode, but let's be honest, I think every episode is amazing. So um, this one this wasn't a, a standout episode, it wasn't anything like fancy or anything like that. It wasn't like the premiere, I love the premiere, even though it was sad, but I really like that one. Um, this one was kind of like a cool, I, I call them like filler episodes, so it was a cool filler episode for me. And um, so starting off, we're with Michonne, so it comes up title card Michonne, um, which I found was interesting that they did that and who they chose to do it with and I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to do it again. I didn't really pay attention to who the director was for this episode but I'm wondering if they bring that person back if they're going to do more of like the tile card stuff or even in the next episode if they're going to bring up like Tara, Daryl, Rosita, you know that kind of thing. So I found it, it worked for this episode and you get that in in the seasons. You get like those episodes that are, are different for example in season six I believe when, um, yeah, I think it's season six, when it's a black and white episode and it, like the whole thing is in black and white. So I find there's those um, episodes that are very different from the rest of the season. And I think this one was one of them. I was expecting Michonne to act exactly the way she was acting. She was upset about Carl and she was giving me exactly what I was expecting her to. Um, now Rick, on the other hand, he was taking it really well for just losing his son. I'm just thinking with Rick's history of reacting to things, he would be reacting a lot differently than what he was. Um, when Lori died, he was a mess for like half a season. So <laughs> for him to just be like, Michonne, we gotta move on. Like, no, nah, it's, it's not believable. I, I, I just want like something, something from him. Like Carl's, words wouldn't have changed him in that moment. I don't think, I don't think Carl being like, it's okay, like, don't worry, everything will be fine, stop fighting. I don't think those words would have changed Rick in those moments to like not freak out. I would have been freaking out. Like any normal person would be. They'd be freaking out. Um, like Michonne was freaking out. She was exactly how she should have been reacting. So yeah, I just wanted a little more from Rick. Um, and maybe we'll see it in the next few episodes. Maybe he'll end up breaking down. Who knows? I've been kind of hoping he ends up breaking down um, just because I want him to feel it. Like he, he literally feels nothing. So I hope that they wrote in a scene where he's just like a mess. Moving on to the trash people. I found this part the most interesting of the whole episode um, just because we kind of see a different side of Simon. Um, we knew he was bad, like we knew he was an asshole and that he would probably kill anyone, but we didn't know he was that shitty of a person. Um, and I hope that Negan finds out and kicks his ass. I think what Simon did killing all the people at the dump is actually going to get him killed in the long run. Um, once Negan finds out that he literally took out a whole group of people, uh, I think he's just going to be like, mm, that's it, you're done. So yeah, I, I thought <laughs> while I was watching the episode, I was like, oh my god, I think Simon's just becoming slightly worse than Negan at this point because Negan's an asshole. He will kill someone from your group and kill another person if he has to, but I don't think he would take out the whole group. But Simon, Simon, once he's at his limit, he's like, nope, not dealing with this shit anymore, and he will take them out. Something else I found interesting in that section, um, when we're on Simon's story of it all, is that when he goes and talks to Jadis, he mentions, he asks her what the place is. And I'm actually wondering what that place is now as well, because he says something about solar panels and something about a helipad. So I'm wondering if any of the, the people living there 
knew how to fly a helicopter or whatever, or knew a group that knew how to fly a helicopter. Because in episode five, when Rick's running through the forest, he actually sees a helicopter and they wouldn't write a helicopter in and then mention specifically a helipad in the back of like the dump if they weren't connected. These two things have to be connected and maybe Jadis's group was part of it, but I don't know, I just don't feel like any of them really knew how to fly. I know there's something there and I'm really interested to see where they take it in the story. So when I saw the trailer a while ago, I remember thinking when I saw Jadis crying on top of the, the trash, um, I remember thinking to myself, someone close to her has died. I wasn't expecting it to be the whole group, but I was expecting someone to die. And when um, it's Brian and, and Tamiel, I, I was kind of expecting it to be one of them. And uh, yeah, Simon literally killed them all. So in that moment, when Rick and Michonne find Jadis, I actually felt kind of bad for Jadis. I mean, she's probably been with this group since the beginning. So that's what, like three and a half, four years of them being together and starting this community. And like she said, it, it was their community. It was just them, like they were making art with, with trash and stuff. And to have to put down all of those people, that would have been rough for Jadis. And like to see them all just like turn into walkers, that would suck. I have to say, it's one of the most efficient ways of getting rid of walkers through the meat grinder. <laughs> If I were Rick, I don't know if I would have brought her along either. I mean, she shot him. So I, I don't know if I would have left her or brought her. I know Michonne probably had a different outlook on it, but Rick did make sure that she got away. So that is saying something about Rick. I don't think he would have let her die. I think he definitely shot above her head uh, for a reason. So I think we're definitely going to be seeing Jadis again. I don't know if we'll see her as a different character or if we'll see her as Jadis, but I I don't think that's the last we'll see of her. Now I want to talk about Rick and Negan. I don't know if Rick contacted Negan thinking Negan would feel differently about the whole situation now that Carl's dead. I think Rick knew that Negan wasn't going to harm Carl and that Negan thought highly of Carl. So him contacting him, maybe maybe he thought that, but I mean, he did threaten him again saying, I'll kill you. So I don't know exactly what Rick wanted out of that, but I think Negan truly, truly in the beginning of their dialogue felt bad that Carl was dead. And when he asked like if it was them that killed him, I think he honestly would have felt like shit if it was him. But because Rick said no, it was him going to save people and to like bring him home, um, that's when Negan took the situation and started manipulating it because he knew Rick was in a fragile state and he knew that whatever he said was just gonna make Rick feel like shit and make Rick like either hate himself or like hate everything. I think Negan truly felt bad that Carl died. Maybe what Carl wrote to him will also change his mind on the whole thing. I still hate that they killed him just to change Rick's mind. And I mean, if they killed him off to change Negan's mind as well, I don't know, I find that's just poor writing. But I do feel like what Carl wrote to Negan is gonna change his outlook a little bit. That and the fact that Negan is actually losing a lot of his men. He no longer has Gavin. He barely has Simon because Simon's gonna do whatever he wants. And if Simon needs to overtake Negan, then he probably will try. And Maggie has a ton of his men at Helltop. So he's kind of losing a lot of people. So yeah, I think our group can definitely take him on now. I'm just really curious to see how Negan's gonna change if Negan changes. I mean, they could go the way where Rick comes in, kills him, and that's the end of Negan's era. So there's that. I really do enjoy Negan, and I, I do hope he gets to stick around for a couple more seasons. The one thing we were missing in this episode was a little bit of Carol. I, as you guys know, love Carol. So I would love to see her in every episode, but I know it wasn't her episode. Although, I think in the next episode, we're going to be seeing a Carol and Daryl reunion 
that we've all been waiting for and I'm gonna have my box of tissues next to me because those reunions always get to me. I always cry and I'm sure I'm gonna cry again because um, I think that I think this is the episode where she's gonna find out that Carl died and it's gonna be sad. I, I hope she reacts. Like The Walking Dead is not the best at um, reacting to death. They just kind of move on from it, and I really hope that someone reacts strongly to Carl's death. Like I said, I know Michonne reacted the way she was supposed to react, like that, she was she was torn apart about it, and you see that. But I just hope more people react to it, because they knew this kid. I hope that Carol gets to react to it and sees Daryl and runs towards him like we see in the trailer. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time.